So I have two messages for you. I'm going to relay them one at a time, and then I'm going to try to tie them into what I'm seeing here represented in the cards, and then we'll go through um, each section of the spread uh, separately. So the first image that I saw, and I don't want you guys to worry because the, the, the cards are really, really positive. So I definitely see uh, a change in your situation for the better. Okay, so I don't want you to worry. But the image makes me made me feel really, really sad. And it has nothing to do with uh, things being sad. It's just the situation. Okay, so and and it will become clearer as I get through it. So first of all, I saw this woman. She's in like um, a, a log cabin. So it looks like 1800s, you know, um, American homesteader. It's somebody that survives off the land. They're agrarian and they're farmers. And um, she's in a log cabin. She is sitting down near a bed and she's sewing a quilt. She She's doing it by hand. So she has like all these little scraps of fabric. And keep in mind the environment doesn't lead me to believe that she's very financially well off. She seems kind of poor. And she has all these scraps of fabric and it's like the, the um, it feels like it's, it's autumn, like in the fall. And so, you know, winter is approaching. So she's trying to get a quilt finished and um, she's making a quilt out of all of these tiny little scraps of uh, fabric, leftover fabric. And, you know, it's very time consuming. If she had like a large swath of fabric, then it would be a piece of cake. So she's um, doing that. And um, you can look at the quilt that she, the sections that she's already kind of finished with. And it's just like a, a hodgepodge of little scraps of fabric. And she's looking at the bundle of scrap fabrics in front of her. And she's just like, when am I going to be done with this? So two things came out when I saw that image. The first the image that I'm feeling is for some of you, you're getting very, very uh, worn out and kind of tired about a situation that has been kind of ongoing, okay? And I don't feel it's relationship. I feel like it's tedious tasks that are kind of laid out in front of you. There is a definitive like a deadline or there is something like a, a cutoff date or there is an end in sight. You know there is an end in sight, but before you reach that end, it seems like the monotony, the tediousness, the, the going through the motions is really... Um, getting to you. It, it's really getting to you. And you're just like, when is this situation going to be finished? I wish I could just, you know, um, fast forward to the end when all of this is finished and then when, when things are going to get better or when I can kind of jumpstart my life the way that I want it. So I almost feel like there are things that you have to do in a timely manner and in order to like level up or in order to achieve something so that you can move on to the next phase. It's almost like, you know, playing a video game where you have to, you know, uh, go through, earn the experience points, earn like the proper skills, fight the boss, and then you level up to the next level. That's what it feels like to me, leveling up. But the process itself is not fun and exciting and, you know, carefree like a video game. It's tedious and it's it's a lot of things that you have to do. So that's the first thing that came out with that image. On top of that, I'm also seeing um, this this element here about you making, you know, um, like when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. It's sort of like that mentality, which I feel is really, really great. But I almost feel like for many of you, um, life has been taking a little bit of like strange detours. And I feel like it has been happening all through last year. I'm getting an eight energy. So possibly like all through 2018, it felt. And, and I remember some of the readings that I done for you guys, the energy feels similar, where you feel like you're being tugged along. It's just like events were happening around you and happening to you and you don't feel like you have that sense of control over things. You were just kind of pulled along and you were just kind of like um, rushed along. Like things were happening really, 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 really fast around you and it doesn't feel to me like it was chaotic, but it feels like 
the wheels were set in motion and you were just like going along with it. And in a way, it can feel like, where is my sense of free will? Where am I able to, you know, be the one to execute and make decision? And it just feels like everything was just pulling you along really, really fast. One thing happens after another, and before you, you know it, life looked very, very, very different. So a lot of it has to do with this, you know, uh, making the best out of a situation. Life throws you curveballs, so you have to make the most of things. You have to be resourceful with those scraps of fabric, and you have to also be very, very flexible to y you, like, to see the value in something, and then even... Um, it's it's almost like having multi functions, okay? Um, you yourself could be thrust into an environment where you're, for example, a work situation where you are wearing many, many, many hats. So you could be be um, you could be called in to be a dispatcher for somebody who called out sick, and then the next day you could be, you know, like. Um, I don't know, a supervisor. And then the next day you're called in to do work of a clerical staff. So I feel like you've been wearing many, many hats. You've been accumulating a lot of different, like a hodgepodge of like little skills. And it just can, it can feel, and I know this is a really uncomfortable place for a lot of um, water signs in general, but especially for you guys, because you need a certain amount of stability okay so i feel like this whirlwind of events it doesn't feel to me like it's out of control or detrimental it just feels like things were happening or a little bit too fast for you and things were happening to you rather than you feeling like you had a choice okay and honestly um based on the energy that i picked up in 2018 i felt that many of you were not decisive enough and so these things were, it's almost like, you know, closed mouths don't get fed, where people asked you, do you have a preference? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? And I feel like you needed time to mull it over. So because decisions were not made at the right time in a fast and swift manner, then decisions were kind of taken out of your hands or somebody else made the decisions for you. And so moving forward for this year, I feel like some of you might be a little bit resentful of those decisions that were made for you, either without asking for your consent or they were made in such a, um, a swift manner. It just almost felt like you never consented to it. It felt almost like it just happened to you. So that, that's what I'm, I'm picking up, okay? Energy is moving really, really, really fast. And you just feel like you're pushed along for the ride. So when I saw the, the, the patchwork, like the quilt, um, what I'm, I'm feeling is it's like making the best of a situation, okay? Being resourceful. And as well, um, it, it's almost like, I, you know, this, this, this woman, this uh, whole quilting, sewing, it's a very domesticated type of energy. It can also relate as well to the home environment where I feel like the demands for many of you in the home environment is what's really, it's like one of the things that surprisingly really, really helps stabilize your life, Okay. So that's the first thing. And the way that the energies kind of echo across this spread here, uh, once again, I have really, really fast, swift moving energies, projects being um, moved off the ground, things moving and, and things moving, happening, uh, decisions need to be made, um, things just like rushing along, like lots of communication, lots of contact, lots of decisions, Lots of things that we have to physically take care of and things that we have to respond to. And many of you as well, learning from that 2018 energy, you're no longer sitting there and like, oh, mulling over these decisions, taking your sweet time. You're no longer doing that. I feel like 
the energy for last year, if anything, it has really taught you about being quick on the uptake, about being decisive, about grabbing opportunities when they come in and not mulling over a situation for too long because opportunities and things like that will slip you by. So you have definitely been learning from the past. What I'm seeing here is there is a new job that's available for you. So for those of you who have been financially struggling, and I did see that coming through with the first image, because like I said, you know, it's a homesteader. It's somebody that is um, living off the land. She's in a, a, a cabin and it's, it's you know, it, it's not, it's not like um, a wealthy, abundant type of an environment. And I feel like your luck is changing mainly because there are big, big, big opportunities coming through when it comes to solid work, okay? This is the work that is, I, I call it like the nine to five, a job that has pension, a job that has health insurance. So for those of you who have been, you know, worried about like, how am I going to survive the cold winter? I need to, you know, uh, mend this quilt or I need to build, uh, make a quilt. I need to prepare myself. I need to stave off the cold. I need to be able to prepare myself for this really, really big season that is um, harsh, like a very harsh winter. So I feel like, you know, you, you've got an opportunity here to build, to save up, to, to, to build up your nest egg, okay? And it's coming through. This is usually a new job that's available in the picture. And the reason why it screams out to me so much about new work and new jobs is because I have here the three of cups in the reverse usually denotes some type of a situation like a job interview or some type of a panel interview where people are talking about you, not in a bad way, but this is sort of like, which candidate do we want to go with? And then they're going to look at your resume. They're going to look at your CV. They're going to look at how did, you know, the cancer person answer these questions in that panel interview or which candidate do we want to go for? Which candidate do we want to uh, call back? So I feel like you have a lot of energies of other people talking about you around you. It is not in a bad way, so don't worry, but I feel like it's almost like they're they're allocating uh, resources either to hire you or there is new work and new jobs that are going to be in the picture. And um, it's got your name kind of stamped on it. OK, the problem is. Do you want to take it? So this is kind of like on the offing and then she's looking at it. Well, she's not really looking at it. She's blindfolded and she's stuck in her little prison. She's afraid of change. OK, so that's really, really big with Cancerian people. Afraid of change, afraid of newness. It's too good to be true. And you have a habit of kind of like circling around the things that you want rather than going directly for the things that you want. And so when this opportunity is presenting itself, you're just like, I'm not sure. This is way too good to be true. I'm not sure if I'm capable. It's such a big pentacles. It requires a lot of skills and a lot of effort and a lot of um, possibly expertise that I'm not really sure that I have. So I feel like you're dealing with a lot of fear and a lot of trepidation and a lot of self-doubt. And that might be the main reason why you are kind of... Um, not embracing what's available to you and what's coming through. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling here. So I want you to really think about, you know, 2018. Was everything um, a whirlwind of activity? Okay, so think back the beginning of 2018. And now we have passed 2018, the end of 2018. It was like night and day, right? Starting out January 2018, and I mean 2018, I don't mean 2019. So starting out January 2018, you thought life was going to be one way. And then things took a, things, the, the, the path meandered and it was, it, it feels to me, and this is the, where the second message comes through. I see this um, container of water is like a pitcher of water. It pours down. And rather than just falling flat to the ground, the water kind of trickles out and it creates like these streams and estuaries and it just like started branching off in different direction. That's how I felt like life was for you. In January 2018, you thought things were going to be one way. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do something very stable, very predictable and, you know, very status quo oriented. And then by December of 2018, life 
has taken you so far from, I guess, the realm of possibilities. Life has taken you so far from what you thought your life was going to be like coming into 2019. So it's like you took a major, massive detour. And I feel like it was for the better. But then you also learned as well where you have stalled on taking your sweet time, um, taking a lot of time mulling things over, being very risk adverse. And um, where you have really held yourself back. It's like you got in your own way. You have really held yourself back. Um, you didn't move or you didn't act or you didn't, you know, um, start things fast enough or finish things fast enough. You didn't move in a way that allowed, you know, it's like, it's almost like when we close, when we finish up things, when we, for example, if we wrap up cycles, we move on to a new cycle. If we leave an X, there's that void and the universe will always, you know, come in and fill a void with a new person. If we hate our job, we leave our job and then there's that opening for the universe to come in and replenish. So I feel like you have really learned that concept. And 2018 was like the year that really showed you physically, emotionally, mentally and spiritually how the universe worked. And I feel like, you know, it, it took you by surprise. And so there's still trepidation from your end about moving things. Am I going in the right direction? Am I where I'm meant to be? You're exactly where you're meant to be, okay? This is divine guidance here. We have here the uh, judgment card. And this is pretty much a clean uh, slate, a clean page, a new chapter starting over. So whatever that has been kind of, um, I, I guess... I don't want to say left behind, but whatever changes that has happened towards the end of 2018, it was for the better. Okay, you are being divinely guided because now energetically, I definitely see a higher like a ascension, like a higher state of being, a better state of being. And you're being in a situation where you're kind of like heeding your calling or you're being a lot more receptive to new energies, new things that are trying to break into the picture for you. There's still a little bit of trepidation here. We have here the, um, this is the Ace of Wands, New Beginnings. For some of you, there is a housing situation that's not very ideal. Okay, either the environment of the house is, is a little bit chaotic or there's something about the housing environment where it can feel a little bit small, a little bit claustrophobic, a little bit disorganized. And it's not as homey as you'd like it to be. And you guys are very, very sensitive to your surroundings. So I feel like there are, you know, things necessary like cleaning up, decluttering, um, doing some, you know, really strong, massive, like spring cleaning that needs to happen in that environment. So there's still some, some energy where you're still risk adverse, where you're still a little bit scared about all of these changes that are coming through, but you're welcoming the change and you are definitely a little bit more adventurous and a lot more receptive and open and a lot faster when it comes to uh, saying yes to new opportunities, which is really, really good for you. So what's coming through? This is the kid at the candy store, okay? He's looking at all the things that he wants to achieve with his life. He's thinking about not only short term, you know, what's in front of me, what do I need to take care of? But he's conjuring, he's imagining, he's using his imagination. And he is also, all those roles that you have to fill, all those hats that you have had to wear, every, every role that you had to take, every task that you had to do, is teaching you skills, whether or not, you know, those skills are related in the greater scheme of things, they're going to come full circle and they're going to show you that they are related. You have to learn all of these skills because they're serving a bigger purpose. So while you're going through the motions and you're just like, you know, I really want that grand, big, big, big job. I really want that job with the status, with the financial backing, with the big office, with the title, with the, you know, such and such after my name, you know, like, um, for example, 
a doctor, a, a, a doctorate candidate, like an MD, an engineer, like you want something with the, the big title and the big status and the big salary. But I'm also feeling as well, um, all of these skills are building you up and are prepping you because in the next job, whatever that's coming in for you right here, it's going to require you as well to don many hats. It's going to require for you as well to be very, very versatile and to be very, very well-rounded. So everything that you've learned here is teaching you about well-roundedness, okay? Um, for some of you, I have somebody in your environment, somebody who is very, 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 it's like somebody who has a lot of big ideas. You feel like they are a little bit too risky for, for whatever reason. For some of you, this could be like um, a significant relationship partner, a crush, or somebody that I feel like there is an emotional connection between you and this person. So they're showing up here as the Princess of Swords, somebody who's a little, so this is the Page of Swords, somebody who's a little bit risky, okay? They grab opportunities, they, uh, they think very fast on their feet, they, um, they do things really, really swiftly that they come across as careless, but they always land on their feet. You, because you mold things over and you take a long time, down to, you know, texting somebody, you, you really mull it over, down to writing an email, down to, you know, what am I going to cook today, down to doing the grocery shopping. Um, you take extra care and you take a little bit more time. So I feel like in, in opposition, when you're dealing with, with this person, it, I don't feel like it's an air sign. I feel like it's just the energy that's like that. They think so fast and they come to conclusions so fast that from your perspective, you might feel like this person is reckless. From your perspective, you might feel like this person is flighty. But, you know, you have to understand that we all, I guess, arrive at our truths differently. For a water sign such as yourself, things not only have to logically make sense, but they also have to emotionally make sense to you. So for example, what I mean by that is, you know, if you're dealing with this person, as long as something logically makes sense to them, and I feel like you're dealing with someone who's borderline genius, they're very, very smart, they might not be traditionally, you know, like a, a, a good student or somebody that is gifted, or but I feel like they, they, they arrive at solutions very, very quickly. Their mind knows how to problem solve and fit things together. And I feel like for you guys, the way that you work is it has to pass that common sense test. And then it has to pass that emotional sense test. So you're, you have like two extra criteria that things have to pass through. Whereas this person, they go off on instincts. And I feel like because of that, uh, what they're doing might seem very, very reckless or seem really impulsive, but in the greater scheme of things, they're able to achieve more, okay? And so I feel almost like you, you might be coming into the embodiment of this energy where, you know, like the, the water being poured down to the ground and then it just kind of uh, trickles out into like streams and rivers. Those are like neurons, and I feel like they make connections a lot faster. So this is the, the next two weeks. I feel like it's that light bulb moment where things kind of flash and things start to make sense for you. The big picture starts to uh, show itself. All the pieces start to fit together, and you know all of those neurons are firing, and you're able to see that everything that has happened has led me here. And where I am right now, I'm in a position where I get to make these choices again. I'm not just, you know, pulled along or rushed along um, or even, you know, like dealt with, like situations don't just happen to me. Now I'm in a position where I get to choose again. So life is going to be a lot calmer, I feel. Because, and I feel like it's because you guys are taking more initiative to make choices faster, to grab new opportunities, to be less complacent, and I almost feel like to be a little bit more adventurous, okay? 
And then we have the best card in the deck. You have the star. Wishes, dreams, aspirations, something that you've been waiting for for such a long time. I feel for many of you, if you have been dealing with financial issues, there might be new work, new jobs, pay increases, or something that is you know, significantly more in alignment with your skills, where you want to go, what career track you want to pursue. So this is coming into the picture. And then we have as well the Six of Cups. Um, I feel like for many of you, you might be introduced or somebody from, you know, like a friend, a, a former co-worker, a former boss, a supervisor, or somebody has you in mind for a job and they're, sh they're asking you if you're interested. And then I also feel with the Six of Cups energy with the Star card, this is reconnecting with somebody that we have really long cherished, okay? Reconnecting with somebody potentially meeting somebody new that will really want to it's like having um meeting somebody for the first time but then feeling such a strong connection to them that you might even feel like you've you know known each other before shared a past life together and then i also feel like meeting somebody that really 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 wants to um that you f for once feel like wow, this could be the one or the other person is all like, this could be, you know, this could go the distance. This could, this could be somebody that I really want to, you know, sh have children with, share my life together with, build with, build a home with, or really see myself into my old age and, and still have this person by my side, my side. So Cancer, you have some really, really beautiful things that are coming into the picture. And so what I feel is, you know, that period about um, that, that whatever that has happened in 2018, um, where you had to kind of hold yourself back, where I feel like you had to make the best of a situation where, you know, life dealt you lemons, so you make lemonades or even a situation where you kind of have to uh, skimp and nickel and dime yourself or shortchange yourself or be very thrifty or, you know, really look after your finances or whatever that situation is where you felt like you had to make the best of a situation. Those days I feel are coming to an end and coming out of February, you're going to start to feel this rush of energy and it's going to feel like, wow, I can breathe again. The, the choices are in the palms of my hands again. And that's really important, right? No one likes to be, um, no one likes the, the, to, to be the ones where things happen to them rather than them being able to control situation. So you're once again in the driver's seat, you get to make your decisions and you have learned to make decisions quickly and you have learned to really, really speak up for the things that you want because you realize that you deserve to be able to speak up and whoever cares about you, they deserve to give you what you want. OK, so I'm going to leave it at that cancer. I do wish you all the best. This looks really beautiful and um, take care of yourself.